So I want to talk about a story that absolutely made my blood boil. This is the pinnacle of irony, of hypocrisy, and it speaks to every single thing that's wrong with American politics. So Ivanka Trump, who is in a position of power in the White House due to nepotism, was scheduled to speak at the virtual commencement of Wichita State University Tech. And at this commencement ceremony, she was supposed to, you know, give these students a bunch of flowery encouragement words that is supposed to lead them into the future, yada, yada, yada. Well, they said, you know what? No, we don't want to hear her speak. We're in the midst of nationwide uprising, and her father is an authoritarian who is disrespecting the protesters who are speaking out on behalf of George Floyd, who are speaking out against police brutality. So save it. We don't want to hear from you. And before I show you Ivanka Trump's response, I want you to hear the reasoning from one of the students who shared her reasons as to why she didn't want to hear from Ivanka Trump and she wanted this speech canceled. Take a look. Um, I think at a time when black communities and allies throughout the United States and even the world at this point have been risking their lives to prevent the system at large from perpetuating such uh, pervasive injustice and violence, WSU Tech invited the person who's a senior advisor and the daughter of a man who has the platform, the power, the resources, and the ability to heal our nation and truly work towards deconstructing the system. But obviously none of that has transpired. I think that Ivanka Trump has been completely in terms of, you know, as our father in, continues to incite violence against the very people that want into it. And I think that seeing her is really the definition of, of performative allyship. She has talked about equality. She has spoken on solidarity and unity and achieving justice. But I, that's all completely unsupported by any policies or tangible contributions or constructive change. So I think that inviting someone of that caliber to a university, um, a university affiliate that wants to support students of color and, you know, in a platform and environment of inclusion and equity and justice, um, it sends a very different message to the students and faculty there. Yeah, I think that her reasoning is sound and I agree with her. If I, you know, attended that university, I wouldn't want to hear from Ivanka Trump. I wouldn't want to hear from someone who is going to say one thing but it's currently doing things, supporting harmful policies being implemented by this administration. Um, now, I want to show you Ivanka Trump's response. You know, CNN kind of gave it away if you read the Chiron, but um, her response was very interesting. She tweeted out, Our nation's campuses should be bastions of free speech. Cancel culture and viewpoint discrimination are antithetical to academia. Yeah. The daughter of Donald Trump just tweeted that out. Okay. Ivanka, do you want to know what is supposed to be a bastion of free speech? The United States of America. But that didn't stop your dad from having his attorney general use chemical weapons to violently crush protesters in front of D.C. so uh, a path could be cleared so your father can take a photo op. America is supposed to be a bastion of free speech. The fact that these students didn't want to hear you speak and the event was subsequently canceled is not an attack on free speech at all. It is people protesting you because they disagree with the way that you and your father are handling the current protests. You want to know what is a threat to free speech? When your father threatens to use the United States military against its own people to violently crush protests. Do you want to know what's a threat to free speech? When police officers and military gear across the country crush peaceful protests, because most of them are peaceful, uh, they crush peaceful protests, use chemical weapons, and institute these uh, Orwellian curfews. Also, they have an excuse to crack down. That is the real threat to free speech. And I think this speaks to everything wrong with the SJW agenda, right? Or the anti-SJW narrative that we've been seeing, to be more specific. You know, we had the tendency over the course of the last couple of years to frame these instances of protests against speakers on college campuses as an attack to free speech. Meanwhile, the actual government is cracking down on free speech, literally violating the First Amendment. And... These free speech warriors, people like Tim Pool and Dave Rubin, have nothing to say. But that's just YouTubers, right? Those are all 
demagogues online who are just saying what they think people want to hear so they can get clicks, views, and money in return. This is especially outrageous because this is coming from someone who is in a position of power, who actually can affect change in this country, influence Donald Trump to not be such an authoritarian. But while her dad was cracking down on peaceful protests, you want to know what she said about that? Jack fucking shit. Did she try to influence him to be less authoritarian? To use restraint when dealing with protests? To maybe, I don't know, not use chemical weapons against peaceful protesters in D.C. So her dad could get a photo op? I mean, she didn't give a shit about all of that. But now she has the nerve to claim that this is an attack on free speech? And that uh, college campuses are supposed to be a bastion of free speech? Go fuck yourself, you imbecile. The United States of America is supposed to be a fucking bastion of free speech. What a whiny, entitled little fucking brat you are to complain about a college campus canceling your commencement speech when your father is the president of the country and he's cracking down on peaceful protests. Do you even care at all about that? I mean, this is why nepotism is a problem, right? Because it leads to people assuming roles of power when they know nothing. They know nothing. And, you know, Donald Trump is not qualified to be president. He has no previous governmental experience. Uh, but the fact that his kids are even that much dumber than him, and they say things like this, they assume power, and then they complain about free speech as that administration cracks down on free speech? I mean, get out of here. Get out of here. This is ridiculous. Uh, Ivanka Trump, I would say, should be ashamed of herself. But she has no shame. I mean, this is someone from within Trump's administration, an authoritarian, proto-fascist administration that is gravitating towards violent fascism, who is basically the nice face to Trump's fascistic policies. You know, she's the one who tweets out gay pride. She's the one who talks about women's rights, when in actuality, she is not just an enabler, but she is an individual who allows these types of policies to go into effect because... She puts that nice face to fascism, right? Fascism is still fascism, even with a pretty face. The policies that the administration that she works for are enacted are functionally fascistic. If you crack down on peaceful protesters, if you use chemical weapons against them for a photo op, that is fascism. And she's allowing it to happen. But to her, the real issue is cancel culture. How about we stop canceling fucking protests? How about we allow peaceful protesters to be able to make their voices heard? How about we stop worrying about college campuses and what they're doing and look at what the government is doing, how the government responds. And we see how they're responding. Trump wants to crack down on these protests. In a leaked call with governors, he used the word dominate multiple times, saying you have to dominate these protests. He wants to send in the troops. But this nitwit is saying, mm, it's actually the, you know, uh, SJWs on college campuses. Cancel culture. That's the real threat to free speech. Your speech was canceled, but you're not canceled. You're still going to work for Donald Trump. You're still going to be, you know, in the White House. You're going to have a career. You're going to have millions and millions of dollars. So with all due respect, actually with no respect, shut the fuck up, Ivanka Trump. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing.